Hello and welcome to Flip Flops and Notebooks. I am Elliot and today uh, it's going to be a bit of an older review of a book and a trilogy or part of a trilogy I read a few years ago and from time to time I still think about this book uh, because it was just so beautiful. I am talking about Rin Chepeco's The Bone Witch, the first in the Bone Witch trilogy. Grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea and let's find out why I love this so much. All right, so first of all, thank you very much to the publisher Source Books Fire and Nat Galley for providing me with an arc of this story. All of my opinions are my own. And this book was published in 2017 and it has been with me ever since. It was just from time to time it just kind of pops up and and I just really enjoyed the story. Uh, in my original review back in 2017, I compared the story to a well-crafted chocolate truffle. It was slowly unfolding and it was just so beautiful and I almost it almost melted in your mouth kind of thing. Usually I'm not a, the person who would describe books or anything using food terminology, but this was just a perfect fit. So let's talk about the characters. I enjoyed all of them, the protagonist and the secondary characters all equally because they were all so complex and they had all such great depth and the dry humor and wit. It was just really enjoyable to read all of them. Yeah, and of course there was a, a mysterious male character that really brought in a little bit more of the intrigue, which was a great mix and it was just, just such a rich story and all of the characters enriched the story. The plot. Warning, it is a rather slow book or, or the, the start is extremely slow I should say. It really takes its time to, to get started to unfold but it is worth the time. It's worth the patience. I guarantee it. I promise you it is worth it. It's an intriguing plot and it's mysterious and it really captured my attention and combined with the sort of eerie and at times forlorn and melancholic mood, it is just such a rich story. And I'm using rich a lot because that's what it is, just a rich, beautiful story. Uh, the writing, it was a slow narration of the protagonist's life and her metamorphosis and the political and social implication of it and the burdens of what she has to face and all of this was just great building blocks for a beautiful story it was a first person point of view so a lot of in-depth um, knowledge into the protagonist's thoughts and emotions it was very captivating and I times I was just sitting there clutching something like a pillow or even the book to my chest because it was just so heartbreaking and so beautiful and so sad. Yeah, it was just really, it really captured my heart, my soul as a, as a story reader, I'm telling you, yes. <laughs> Right, so the verdict, uh, it was a great story, great world building and a perfect setup for the second book, the second installment called The Heart Forger. I, I loved it very much and I definitely plan on reading it again at some point in time, hopefully sooner rather than later. Yeah, but let me know what you thought because two people can read the same book but never the same story. So let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.